Production support for Ohio Educational Broadcasting Award-winning News 6 has come from Whirlpool Corporation's Finley Division, working to make your life a little easier. Additional support has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation and from this public television station. Hi, I'm Joe Palachik from St. Joseph's School, Mami, and this is what you'll be seeing on News 6 today. A kennel with tender, loving care, a high-tech glass factory, and an Olympic-bound athlete. Hi, and welcome to News 6. I'm Brett Drake from St. Joseph's School, Maumee, Ohio. Here with our first story is Chris Fink. When we go away on vacation, we often have to leave our pets behind. In Waterville, we found a place for pets to go and have their own vacation. Karnak Inn is a home away from home for your pet. For a fee, your pet can enjoy its stay at the kennel with extra features such as TLC, bath, grooming, and good food. How long has the kennel been in business? Karna Kennel has been here for 14 years, and starting in June, we'll start our 15th summer. What animals do you board here? We mainly board just dogs and cats. That's the two animals that we know the most about. We used to board some ferrets and some rabbits, but now we just primarily uh, board just the dogs and cats. Does your dog or cat need shots or any other requirements before coming here? Yes, because we want to make sure that everybody is healthy when they come to the kennel and also that they stay healthy while they're here, we do require that you bring a shot certificate from your veterinarian's office. Mm -hmm. We also require you to make a reservation, just like you're going out of town, your parents have to make hotel reservations. You have to make a reservation at the kennel for your dog also. What do you bring with your animal? Some of our dogs have been coming for a long time, and this is a dog's bag, and this is his kennel bag. Whenever he comes to the kennel, they bring this with all of his goodies. So let me show you some of the things that they bring. His stuffed toy, because this is his favorite toy, just like you were going to go away. And of course, chews, so he can chew on that. And when he's doing TLC, which is our exercise program, he has his tennis ball. The Karnik Inn also gives the animals some tender, loving care. TLC means fun for your pet. It's a special time for exercise, a walk in the country, a brushing and combing, or just some love from their dedicated staff. What makes the Karnik Inn so special? We feel that Karnik Inn is a home away from home for your pets. And we try to provide an environment that's just like your animal has at home. We have the music playing for them. We have nice, soft, fluffy rugs that we give them. Um, we talk about them having the patio where they can go outside. And we do as much as possible to try to make this a home away from home. And we all love animals here, so we like for them to come and visit us. So if you are going on vacation and you have no place for your pet, just remember, Karnak in with two locations, Waterville or Toledo. Today's show is being produced by the 6th grade at St. Joseph's School in Maumee, Ohio. Maumee is located just southwest of Toledo. The town was founded in 1838 and has a current population of about 20,000. Glass manufacturing is a big part of Toledo. And in Perrysburg, we found a company that makes machines that are used to make glass all over the world. Located in Perrysburg, Glass Tech Incorporated is a leading manufacturer of automobile and architectural glass equipment like furnaces. We were able to talk to Mr. Norman Nitschke, vice president of the company, about Glastech and its operations. What do you make at Glastech? At Glastech we make furnaces, large furnaces for glass makers to manufacture safety glass. How long has Glastech been in business? Glass Tech has been doing this kind of thing for 15 years. How many employees are needed to make a furnace? At Glass Tech, we have about 300 employees, and they all are used in some way to make furnace, but they're not all working around the furnace at each 
uh, instance. How long does it take to make a furnace? We quote furnaces with a nine month, approximately nine month delivery. How many different countries does Glastec sell its furnaces to? Glastec has furnaces presently in 32 countries of the world. How do you sell the furnaces to the foreign countries? We have a marketing department uh, here and a good reputation with most of the major glass companies. But to help teach the uh, other people in the glass companies, we have brochures such as these, uh, which we translate into the language of the country that we're working in. This particular one is in Chinese. Since Glass Tech deals mainly with temper glass, we also asked Mr. Nitschke what temper glass is and how to make it. What is so special about tempered glass? Uh, tempered glass is three, four times as strong as ordinary glass mechanically. And when it breaks, it breaks up into very small particles which do not cut. How do you make tempered glass? Well, tempered glass is made by taking an ordinary piece of glass, heating it up to its softening point, which is red hot, and then rapidly cooling it with air jets. Glass Tech uses the advances of today's technology to deliver the highest quality product to its customer. For example, high-tech computers are used to construct and operate the glass furnaces. Using the advanced technology helps a small company like Glass Tech compete with larger companies, yet people are still an important part of the successful operation. Regan Maurer, a sixth grader at St. Joseph's, has a dream of being in the Olympics. But Regan is doing more than dreaming. She's working hard. During the winter months, ice skating, basketball, and wrestling are pretty popular sports. But here at St. Joe's, we have a classmate who's very talented at another popular activity, gymnastics. Starting at the age of five, Regan Maurer began gymnastic training at the YMCA. She liked it enough to continue on to club gymnastics at age nine. Here at the Sunrise Gymnastic Clubs, now 11, Regan keeps up the hard work. Five days a week, three hours a day, working to perfect each routine. Regan performs in four events, the uneven bars, the balance beam, vaulting, and the floor exercise. Each has its own difficulties. But with continued practice, Regan hopes to do well enough to qualify for regional championships this May. Of course, like most gymnasts, Regan would like to reach the ultimate competition, the Olympics. So far this season, Regan has placed first twice and second once. She seems to be well on her way towards an Olympic medal. That's all for this week's show. Join us next week when New Six travels to Elmwood in Segnit, Ohio. Production support for New Six has come from Whirlpool Corporation's Finley Division, working to make your life a little easier. Additional support has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation and from this public television station.